Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, from Del Rio, Texas, San Pedro Campground, Lake Amistad. This is Rusty78609. Just getting rolling here this morning, getting squared away so I can hook up and hit the road here, babe, in about an hour. <laughs> no hurry. And uh, what else? Uh, oh, got to do this Google thing. Get my Googler here. There we go. Good morning. Well, I don't think Miss G Missy Google is awake. Oh. Hi, Rusty. It is 6.31 a.m. Right now in Laughlin Air Force Base, <clears throat> it's 62 with fog. Today, it'll be foggy with a forecasted high of 78 and a low of 56. Okay, now she's going to tell me how to get US home, but I don't want to know that. Take about three I don't need to know that, Miss Google. Thank you very much for your input. Anyway, I'll get I'll get Bangor, Maine now, and we'll get a joke. What is the temperature in Bangor, Maine? The current temperature in Bangor is 21. Not too shabby, guys. You guys are back up there with human beings now. Hey, Google, what's the temperature in Butte, Montana? In Butte right now, it's minus one. You guys are stuck on minus one, aren't you? Yesterday it was one above. Today it's one below, so not a big change. Anyway, let me get going here. Let's go Miss Google. Well, sometimes she's a little... This is a little... Hey, Google, tell me a joke. One joke coming up. Why do fish live in salt water? Because pepper water makes them sneeze. <laughs> How did the vacuum cleaner die? It bit the dust. Okay, those are biggie, biggie, biggies there. I'm telling you, telling you, telling you. What a way to start your day, huh? Anyway, on this little phone here, it shows there's like 22 updates available. Do I care? Not really. Anyway, today is the day after yesterday. See, that way I get it right 100% of the time because it's always the day after yesterday, okay? So what else? We've had our joke. We got Bangor, and uh, I live in a casita, 17-foot travel trailer full-time. I've lived in travel trailers for over 25 years, guys. I'm 73 years younger. Yeah, that 73 years young is poo-poo. You're, you're getting old <laughs> by the, the curve of life. Uh, yeah, it's uh, definitely a little older than average, okay? And what else? Uh, anyway, yeah, we're going to be pulling out today. Uh, not much to do, really. Uh, put a few things on the bed and hook up and go. It's that simple. I do like our, the RV way of life. I'm going to go back to my home base. Why? Because I've got one. <clears throat> and that's why I got it, to use when it's cold weather. But anyway, we'll do a few comments here, guys, just to be socialist. Uh, Donald Porter, thumbs up to you. Tracy Phillips, great driving video, Rusty. Thank you. Hot Limited, you don't want to live. Hot Limited says, you don't want to live there. I live seven miles from the Rio Grande River. There are problems. Okay, good. Uh, Hot Limited says, build the wall high and mighty. Okay, Tracy Phillips, great, good, great afternoon, sit and talk video, Rusty. The man with a plan. Have a safe trip home and safe travels, my friend. Thank you, Tracy Phillips. Travel Hawk. Come on, you showed your beer. What's wrong with showing a little bit that Chichi, Chichi Hanga, Chichi Changa, Chichi Changa, Chimmy Changa, uh, Chimmy Changa? I don't know. Uh, Craig W. Hunt, are you adding lithium batteries? No. They were $950 each at Quartzsite. That's why I'm not adding them. LOL, quiet. I'm doing the math. LOL. Yeah, I'm not going to spend $950 on a battery. Well, I'm not. Now, a lot of people, if you're full-time and you need you know, a lot of power, you got a microwave and a big TV and a lot of things that you're running and you need a lot of power, then you might want to take a look at lithium. For me, uh, I'm fine. You know, I, anyway. Grandpa, Grandpa Do. Looks like the town of Acuna just across the river, if well-populated, and Del Rio is sparse, I, I don't know, but there is some interesting happenings along that river. Also see you are not far from Laughlin Air Force Base, interesting area. 
uh, made it to San Antonio once, once, but that's it for this area. Thanks for the tour. Well, you're welcome. Uh, yeah, Perdinalis Pete came by and visited. He says, I sure enjoyed the visit and conversation, Rusty. And like I said, I've enjoyed your video since you had about 50 subs. If you ever really want to live on that $16,500 $16, apiece, say the word and I'll swap you your place and burn it any day. I've, I've lived all over Texas, but the hill country is my favorite. Take care, brother. Best of everything. Yeah, well, thank you. Thank you for coming by and thank you for the reading material and enjoy and good luck with your eBay stuff. <clears throat> Go for it. Anyway, Truth Warrior, looks like you found another gym. I'm just curious to know the asking price and the lot size. Have a safe trip back home. Uh, the lots appear to be about 100 feet wide, and then they go all the way down to the river. How far that is, probably 150 feet or more. And the lot prices start at eight, around 8000 in that range. Hazel Hinkle, thanks so much for the gr good drive. I agree with you on the wall. Uh, Perdinalis Pete again, he says, that is certainly an area of contrast. Scenic drive and pretty river to be sure, though sadly and not surprisingly, I've read there does tend to be frequent property crimes. People do indeed have aliens running across their property on a regular basis, basis and break-ins are common. Uh, I recall reading a news story of a man with a surname Bordelone, a Vietnam vet. Anyway, <clears throat> yeah, he gives us uh, some information about living along the river. Thank you, Purden Alice Pete, for your comment. Scotty Thompson, uh, cool video, cool video talk, Rusty. Thank you, Scotty Thompson. Uh, Dana Livingston, no caravans. Thanks for the drive and your insight. No, there's no caravans around here. If there are, there must be just one group, one person in the group. Uh, Scotty, do you drink beer when you do not as well in sports like golf, Rusty? Uh, well, I used to. I, I drink beer. I, mean, I don't do it now because I play golf too early. But I used to drink beer and play golf. That's what you mean. <clears throat> Scotty Thompson, cool comment, call Rusty, uh, Jaki, Jaki's, Jaki's, Pascanel, ah, you sound like a Frenchman from Canada. I thought you were on your 30th beer for the day, probably not though, no, I can't, I can't drink that much anymore, there was a time that I'd get close to that number. Anyway, thank you, ja Jaki's, Jaki's, 50 O-Star, O-S-T-A-R, it's on the tiny home, it is too small for the money, okay, well then don't buy it. Uh, Lucio Vidari the third. If you make it to Seminole Canyon down the road is Comstock. There are some great pictographs. Look up my buddy Mark. He is park ranger there. Have fun. I may do that, but I'm not headed that way, Lucio. I've been there a few times and I've seen enough pic pictographs to last me 10 lifetimes, but thank you very much. This is Dennis J.S., on the camping and the pickup, I have a cot tent, which is super simple to set up, less than five minutes. I open it, then place the whole thing in back of the truck. You have almost instant privacy, and you're well off the ground. Yeah, there are numerous brands. I had one of them. I had a, a camp tent, but I went with uh, making my own bed. But anyway, good luck, Dennis. Gary LaPlante. Rusty, thank you so much for being our eyes into a place that most of us never get to visit. Boy, you're welcome. Flo67, enjoy, my friend. You are awesome. Thank you very much. Marcus Lovelace, glad you had a nice trip. Safe travels heading north. Well, it's kind of more, it's more east than north, but yeah. Uh, Tracy Phillips, great comment call. Thank you. Samoran Man, it would be significantly cheaper to re retire just the other side of that river. It would, the cost of living would be cheaper, but if you don't speak Spanish, uh, they know you're a gringo and they know you got some extra bucks, so they're going to take advantage of you. How much depends on how lucky you are. In case you're curious, that's an it. That's Trenton Clump. That's a jalapeno that says native Texan. Those are real organic bananas. That is olive oil's bra, and that is a dehumidifier called an Eva Dry. Or Eva Dry. But anyway, having said that, moving along here. Uh, Dishon laughs. Can you plug it into the wall socket? The yeah, you can. It's one ten or or uh, twelve volt. That's on the twelve volt TV, or one ten. It's either. Paul Pierce. Hey, Rusty, your peacefulness during that incredible sunset speaks volumes. Gracias, hombre. Well, you're welcome. Donata. 
Uh, Paul Harrington, a lot is going on on the border, even as I typed it. It, it needs to be secure. Uh, anyway, whatever. I mean, uh, you know, it, it's going to be an issue for a long time now. Because you know, once you make it a political issue, uh, you know, like uh, gay rights or abortion, or once it becomes political, then it, it, it'll be used in every campaign for 100 years. Dixie Rose, 56. I would stay having such a good time, uh, but uh, well, but I put in a Wave 3 propane heater I use. I love it. Barely sips propane. Very safe and best of all. I don't need electricity. Uh, yeah, the only downside of using propane in, in any form is that it puts in a lot of moisture in the air and you get condensation on your windows, and I'm not real fond of that. David Gibson, another good one. And I enjoy your sign-offs. It reminds everyone to be healthy and positive. Everyone can benefit from that. Sure they can. But, you know, is anybody going to do it? No, probably not. But anyway, you know, if you keep hammering <clears throat> up here, sooner or later it'll get through. Uh, Kevin Conway says, I agree with you that going to Mexico and not knowing much Spanish would be a problem. On the flip side, a Hispanic person can come to the U.S. and never speak a word of English and do just fine. Well, that's the kind of country we are, you know. Is that is that bad? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. No, though we we uh, uh, it's uh, <clears throat> you know, it just depends. You know, we have some people that go overboard on human rights, and we go some that don't go far enough. So we'll, that's enough said about that. I'm a sailor. Looks like you're sitting in the middle of a field. I basically was. I mean, I basically am. Where I'm parked right now is uh, up on a little hill, and they're all around me is just wide open spaces. Mark seven three five seven three, thumbs up to you. Russ RV Freedom thirty seven was a time when thousands weren't desperate to get into the U.S., so this worked. Now, obviously, it doesn't. He's talking about the border fence, and I want to know how five billion dollars will fix it. it. It doesn't matter. It's just like a B one bomber, man. It, it, did that fix war? No. <laughs> you know, it, it's just another expensive uh, toy. Uh, anyway, Pierre Trudel, hi, Rusty. Vega means fertile plain. Okay, so I drove down the green fertile plain. Uh, Justin James, get a passport and go check out San Miguel with your casita. San Miguel, I've heard about that place. Yeah, I've heard about that. It's it's uh, supposedly up in the elevations a little bit. Anyway, I, I don't know. I'd have to check it out. Sam Ford, 24 degrees here in Kansas. Well, uh, Sam Fort, I declared beer 30 about two hours ago and sucked down a few. Well, it's up to you. It's your it's your life. Anyway, we'll do a few more, and then I'm going to shut her down, eat my breakfast, and get ready to go, guys. Tim Kreitz Adventures. Hello, Tim Kreitz. He says, ah, Amistad, my old stomping grounds. My parents used to have a place down there, and I spent more of my fishing time on that lake than any other in Texas. Be sure to take a drive to High Bridge while you're there. Cheers and enjoy yourself. Okay, Tim, thank you very much. Dorian Christie. Hello, Dorian. Uh, it says, Rusty, what a cool driving adventure. To borrow one of our friend Scotty Thompson's accurate descriptions. Descriptive, descriptives, I guess. Thank you for getting the directions to this little gym on the big river and for taking us along. It might be a real shame to ruin all that view with fences or walls. Well, you know... <clears throat> Again, it's political now. It's, it's been made a political issue, so just forget it. You know, just go to sleep, enjoy your life. Ken Alexander Steen, a dollar ninety-five for gasoline, a dollar and a, a dollar and a half less than where I am currently living. You got to be in California then. Uh, Beckany Miller, your Mexican food and day sounded yummy. Yeah, it was. It was good. Anna Watson, good for you. I enjoy enjoy. Melvin Barrier, glad to see you. Look rested and have a good time. Have enjoyed the videos of your trip. Be safe as you head home. Yeah, this was just a little break to test the RV using uh, the fridge on propane and, and using the solar. And what I found out is the Casita, my 2019, that is uh, solar ready, ZAMP solar ready, uh, is a boondocking machine. Because right now uh, it's like 12.8 on the battery and you know the full battery is 12.8 you know 100% but so I mean I know it's down a little but how much it's not even enough to register <clears throat> uh, Bama Boy says come on man one picture of your enchiladas have a safe trip amigo and no I don't take pictures of food guys I just don't I mean every now and then if I do an instant pot I'll show you how to do it but as far as you know being a 
you know, a, a photo nut, I'm, I don't want to do that. I mean, I know I see people doing it. I do all the time. Uh, draftsman or dartsman, 501, 5th, 6th, or 7th. He says, that's what I love about retirement. Don't usually know what day it is or particularly care. Got to get down to Big Ben and Del Rio. Great video, Rusty. Thank you. We're going to do two or three more, and then we'll shut her down. Carmen Thompson, I love my HEB. We have the largest HEB in our area, 10,000 square feet. HEB open, and three months later, it flooded. Thanks, Harvey. <laughs> anyway, uh, Shift Into High has got a long comment. I'm going to read part of it. And then here he goes. says, well, Rusty, it boils down to this. Every other person in Texas is armed. Notice they didn't really storm Texas. The 300 that came under the fence lined it up in a single. Never mind. You know, it's it's a uh, crazy world we live in. And Dave uh, Brinky, David Brink, Bricky, Rusty, we live long enough. We don't need anybody to tell us what to do, when to do it, and how. To, you know, for me, I, I'm a free spirit. I don't, I'm not, I'll listen to somebody if they have a good suggestion. And Tina Son says thank you, Rusty, for showing everyone what this beautiful town Del Rio is, peaceful and nice people. A lot of them. I, I didn't have any problem. Uh, anyway, uh, Lynn, I'm confused. Oh, this is on the tiny home. Were we in the bedroom as we entered the door? Yeah, 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 sure. Anyway, Tom Archer says, show us the camp set up. <clears throat> I did, uh, Tom, when I arrived, I did a video of uh, the, the park and, and my camp set up. So, yeah, just go back and watch some of the older videos. Anyway, guys, what else can I tell you? Uh, not much. I'll be on the way to my home base near Kingsland, Texas here today. Take about five hours for me. No hurry. And what else? Uh, I'll probably do a little video on the way. I've got a couple of videos that I didn't post. I did a walking video at uh, at a mall here yesterday morning. I may post it. It ends funny uh, because I punched the button while I was walking. <laughs> It just cuts off, <clears throat> but that's the way to end the video. Don't kid, don't you know? Don't don't jack around. Just end it. But anyway, I may post that one because it's pretty interesting. I was just walking around in a shopping mall. I hadn't been in a shopping mall in ages, and, and then I had another driving video. I went to uh, another couple of campgrounds, and if I w feel like it, I may post that too. But anyway, guys, <clears throat> from uh, Amistad uh, Lake. Uh, Near Del Rio, Texas, this is Rusty78609 saying thumbs up, 78609. Thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye-bye, buy anything you want. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Because I get a small commission and it doesn't cost you one penny. So if you choose to do it, fine. If you don't want to fool with it, no problem. What else? Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. Help you avoid gout, kidney stones, and it'll also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water and you won't want to eat so much. And the only real way to lose weight is eat less, and that's it. That's the hard way to do it, but it's the only way to do it. What else? Take deep breaths. Breathe in deep. Hold it for a few seconds. Breathe out slowly. Why? Because that relieves stress, and relieving stress lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? Yes. What else? Uh, stretch, stretch, stretch. Swivel, swivel, swivel. Walk, walk, walk. Uh, I will do my stretches. <clears throat> And I will take a short walk before I go take my drive to my home base. And uh, yeah, that's good because I feel better when I'm driving. And what else? Uh, stand guard at the door of your mind. Do not let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your head. Stand guard at the door of your mind. Accentuate the positive. Eliminate the negative and enjoy your life. Enjoy your day. And uh, yeah, we'll be talking again later on today, guys. But yeah, this has been a great trip for me. I enjoyed it. The temp See, the, the climate, the temperature makes... The trip, the temperature and the winds, and of course insects and a lot of little little things. But no, if the temperature is right and you're boondocking, you got it made. If it's too hot or too cold, it ain't much fun. Anyway, adios amigos, bye-bye.